Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the one game a month July. The one game a month is a monthly game jam slash boot camp challenge that challenges developers to make a game every single month. This month's optional theme was the word solar. So yeah, playing all the games entered for about a minute each. You can check out the games that I played, about 10 per video. Uh, links are in the description. If you want to check me out, all my info is also in the description. And feel free to comment and like this video. Also, I'll probably have an article of my favorites out at some point, so take a look at that. Alright, that's about it. Next. Next, we're playing the game uh, Chubby Olympics. Alright. I played this game for Indies vs. PewDiePie and I sucked at it. can never get the jump timing right. Because you don't, like, move forward in the air. Alright. Could just stand still, that's how I can get the highest score. Alright. This is still really difficult. Ah. Uh. Alright, keep going. Damn it. I flew away. <laughs> Next. Next, we're playing the game Plane Shifter. This is another Indies vs. Gamers game. ZXC. Okay. Alright, so depending on what plane you go on depends on ooh it's kind of weird the screen sort of switches sides sizes but you know but now the mouse doesn't seem to be working right next that last game kind of changed sizes and crashed or whatever it wouldn't let me restart next we're playing the game easy equals pi alright two pieces okay I uh, didn't really. That was a bit oh, That guy, bit bit happier, but you know. So basically, we just gotta cut the pie. Why didn't he like that one? Cause it wasn't exact. I'm sorry, guy. You got a bigger slice than you should have gotten. Oh, that's your slice. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. What? It should give me a little bit of give and take, because I'm pretty close. So one more time. Next. Next, we're playing the game Color Chemistry. We're playing the demo version. The full game is $2.99, and it's also being voted on Steam Greenlight. Let's begin. Alright, we'll do either red or blue. Alright, so we'll do red. Uh, tutorial. Awesome. Target's red. The mechanisms of this game are based on the modern theory of color. Additive and subtractive color combinations are used. You can combine the basic red, green, and blue to receive cyan, magenta, and yellow. Respectively, you can also be done in reverse. Your test to solve a puzzle in the number of steps shown at the top left, so 19. Also, the color shown at the top left is what you need to solve the puzzle. Alright. So, if we subtract, like, red, green, and blue to receive yellow. So, like, if we subtract the colors that are already in there, what happens if we pick green on green? I'm just kind of messing around with it right now. It's pink. I'm gonna be no good at these puzzles, I can tell you that. Let's make them all the same color to start with. That's green.
Oh shit, what I just... I did this. Alright, so we need these to be yellow. Alright, green. What, was it blue? Nope, not blue. This is pretty neat though. Next! Next, we're playing the game Vegan Vampire. Okay. Oh, it was just like a black screen. Oh, do it. Is it like an advert? Alright. Vegan Vampire, there we go. Most people don't realize it's a personal choice. Oh, snap. Whoosh. Alright, beware. Dracula's castle ahead. Alright. Level 2 outdoors. So there's a timer going. Blood type A. Alright. The sun will be up soon. Gotta get back home quick. Alright. 100% vegan human flesh burger. That didn't seem very vegan. Alright. It's so, like burgers and stuff will make me very fat. Oh, that was stupid. This is a neat little game. Next. Next, we're playing the game Rampage Rex. Alright. Museum of History. These are cool graphics. New exhibit, Dinos. Alright. Please retain from getting too close to fine art. Yeah. This is quite neat. Pardon our renovation, jump for any bottomless. So this is sort of like the same type of game as the vampire one. It's got beautiful graphics. Respect museum, don't get caught doing... Oh, so they can't look at me while I do it. Hi, guy. Busted. Watching this place. Look okay, shady as hell. Next. Next, we're playing the game GW Arcade Bully. Oh, here's somebody. Basically, we're beating up people for coins. So that we can play that game behind us. Uh -huh. My game. Uh, there's a time at the top of the screen. There's like 11 seconds left. But you can come over to this and buy more time. Insert 20 coins for more time. But yeah, this is it. Next. Next, we're playing the game Turnable Octagon. Oh, shit. Basically, you gotta kill these and protect the little shape in the middle. Shit. This is like a really difficult game. It's very reminiscent of a super hexagon. I know, a close call. And I've got two of these. Right. Oh! That one was close. I don't even know what to do about that giant line of them. Next! Next, we're playing the game Space Botanimus. But Botanus. Oh, didn't want to use spacebar. Get that back up. All right.
I'm not really sure what to do with it. There's a watering can and stuff. According to the description, I should be able to like use space and stuff um, in the game, but the thing is, it's just kind of scrolling down the screen for me when I use arrow keys or space, which is stuff that it wants me to use, so I don't really know what to do. I guess it's just kind of a glitch, maybe. Oh, right, well, I can kind of interact then. So I guess I'm supposed to, like, plant some stuff and have a great time. I don't even know what these switches do. That's cool. Next. Next, we're playing the game Shall Call Nab. Not play. Uh, I d game over here. I bet. I don't know what language this is in. Let's translate to English and hope my computer doesn't crash. Rating zero. All right, four yellow. So I guess it was four then yellow maybe. So again, okay. Uh, translate to English. Circle yellow green. Circle yellow green. Do we do it? Rambo one circle. Oh, shit, Rambo. One circle, one circle. Maybe four. One circle. Yes. Triangle something blue. Nope. Next. 